You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! In most mainstream movies, plots involving abuse of any kind mostly involve the victim or an authority figure investigating the case. But what happens when a film decides to focus on a person falsely accused of child sexual abuse? What happens when a usually black and white situation is subverted? What happens when there's no one to blame? What happens to the truth and those who pursue it? This is The Hunt. The film begins with a happy and playful mood, showing plenty of wide shots and an occasional shaky camera that quickly changes the character in frame. In the very first scene, we see Lucas and his friends having fun in the lake. Another happy scene shows Lucas drinking with his friends. This happiness, however, gradually fades away as Clara tells Greta that Clara saw Lucas's private parts. Greta immediately believes her. The lighting in this scene strategically only illuminates Greta's face, whereas Clara's face was ominously kept in the dark, to draw attention to how Greta reacts to what Clara is saying. Similarly, in another scene, where Clara was telling Ola that he saw Lucas as Willy, the office had a bright lighting as if to foreshadow that things would all go well for the child because most of the adults would take her side. A great disparity can be observed when comparing this scene with what came after. Greta informs Lucas that there is a child claiming that she was sexually abused by him. The office in this scene was very dim and the lamp only illuminates Lucas's face, making him the center of attention. In the next scene, after Lucas is accused by Greta, the world around Lucas becomes muffled. The scene immerses us into the mind and experience of Lucas through the use of sound or the absence of it. As the camera focuses on him, we can feel his confusion about the accusation. And we know that he's asking, Who accused me? Did I do anything that could be misinterpreted as sexual abuse? This perfectly foreshadows the changes and imminent dangers that will soon happen because of that false accusation. Here we see that the adage, Innocent until proven guilty, has been subverted, for people tend to believe whatever they want to believe, even if proven otherwise, and much more if the truth is not what they expected. On the other hand, the subversion used in the handling of this usual feminist theme clearly shows that both men and women are equally capable of fear-mongering and promoting a mob mentality, instead of focusing on its usual gender duality. People are guilty until proof. I mean, God damn it, you know what I mean. This Throughout the film, the cycle of the seasons is evident. This is greatly mirrored by the increasing tension with Lucas's case. During autumn or fall, the vibrant color of the leaves and surrounding areas are emphasized. These were happier times in Lucas's life, but also the beginning of his fall. Lucas gets fired due to alleged child sexual abuse, and most of the townsfolk believe it. Lucas, go. 
During winter, the cold and bleakness of the surroundings are mirrored with the situation Lucas is in. That is, when both Lucas and his son are being ostracized by society, culminating when he is finally arrested. The metaphoric hunt then is passed on to the son. Then back to the father, both trying their best to survive against the brutality of an unforgiving society. While his case was dismissed due to insufficient evidence, society continues to resent him. In the end, a year later, during fall once again, it seems that society has forgiven his transgressions. But then, during his annual hunt, the final scene of the film, someone attempts to kill him. This signifies that the cycle of the hunt is not over, and the stigma remains. The cinematography throughout the film, while beautiful, contrasts the otherwise grim reality that the film is trying to portray. Similarly, the film does its best to convey emotions through the character's facial expressions. There are a lot of close-up scenes on their faces, the quality of which truly gives us an idea of what the characters are feeling at that time. Lucas, I call my little pig and she lives and she has never done anything. I don't know why she lives now. In the church scene, you can see the internal struggle that Lucas is going through, knowing that all eyes are on him and that everyone believes the false accusations against him. The clawing of his face expresses the distress and anxiety within Lucas's mind. Here, Theo is also seen struggling with Lucas's presence in the church. We see Theo having his breakthrough moment, knowing in his heart that his best friend had not committed the heinous act that he had been accused of. The presence of church music in two crucial scenes mirror the hypocrisy of the townspeople. The first time it's played is when innocent Clara is enjoying the winter, which mirrors how the townsfolk should act as a religious, tight-knit community, innocent in spirit and forgiving of other people. This hypocrisy is shown the second time church music is played, during the climax of the film, when Lucas, tired of all the physical and emotional trauma inflicted, snaps inside the church. They killed his dog, beat up his son, beat him up, and ruined his life. The use and editing of this sound is brilliant, as it conditions the audience into feeling for Lucas and all his struggles. Despite the essentially universal agreement about the presumption of innocence, people tend to presume otherwise, especially on topics that involve the maltreatment of an inferior or helpless victim such as women and children. It seems that people are incapable of consistently aligning with what needs to happen with what we actually do. Why is this? Evolutionary psychology tells us that people are born with behaviors and patterns of feelings that fit with the current conditions of human society. But what was adaptive then might be profoundly maladaptive today. Perhaps it was adaptive in those small bands of hunter-gatherers to join the crowd, 
to protect those who look like they cannot protect themselves, to believe in a victim's testimonies. But as shown in the movie, the majority does not dictate what is right. The innocent can be wrong, and both men and women are capable of doing great good and even greater evil. For the townsmen in the movie, the truth was largely incomprehensible, especially when this same truth was not what they had expected. When truth threatens our expectations, it is truth we usually sacrifice, often along with those who side with it. <laughs>